Hey everybody, welcome back to Nellie and Ruth Designs. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you for joining in. I'm going to continue with my gnome journal here. Um, I'll be working on this throughout the um, month of December. I know this is the end of November, but from here on out, we're gonna I'm gonna go full bore on it. If I finish it, I do. If I don't, that's okay. I can continue to work on it. Maybe bring it back out next year. Uh, so. Today, we are going to get the front cover on. I want to thank everybody for your votes um, on what the front cover should look like and be one out. And I do love this here. And I've got my buttons uh, that I'll be putting on up around here. So thank you. I really appreciate it. Sometimes I just, I'll see a couple, you know, things that I like and then I just don't know which one to choose. So we're going to do that, but I think first I'm going to tackle, and everyone else said thank you, to cut this back flap off um, because it is going to end up being the gator mouth, and I, it's just going to be too restrictive, you know, trying to make a flap and make it fancy. So <clears throat> I don't know how I'm going to do this yet. I'm just going to dig in. But I do know that this is an extra... I think this is an extra on here. I have to move a couple things here, get them out of the way. And I think I'm going to just, I think I can take this off. I think this is glued down. And I thought maybe if I just dis dissemble, dissemble, dismantle this here, I could maybe use this as a belly band inside the journal, but I have to be careful because I don't know how far down it is glued um, to this. And even though I'm going to be cutting it off, I really don't want to ruin, because if there's extra, I don't want to ruin the flap, because if there's extra material here that I can use to fold over, rawr, it's like an alligator. Um, see, I can just peel this off. And here is the file folder. So this I stitched on. So I am going to have to cut this because I stitched the rickrack on. So that's okay. So I think what I am going to do, that's the flap. I think I'm going to start slow. Um, and what I'm going to do is I will cut right to here okay and just like I said I'm just going to take it slowly and I'm going to get the worst pair of scissors I have because I don't want to make them dull my other good scissors I don't really want to I have a really nice pair of fabric scissors, but I don't want to put them up against the paper here. And I may, I don't really want to use them. Maybe I'll try these. These are my, yeah, these cut better. Those other blue ones are really shot. They're old. They're so old, the handles are cracking. Okay, so, all right, so this is off, and I might be able to even just take this off here, and then I could make a belly band out of this. I could do something with this. I can do, definitely do something with that. So I'm going to set this aside, because this is all turned out under quite nicely. Um, then I can play with this another day. Well, maybe I'm just going to do this here now. Okay. Look at this. This isn't the first time I've had to dismantle or take something um, apart with a journal. Um,
I redid that one journal that I purchased from a gal because um, I wasn't that crazy about it. I used um, three and one glue for this, so you can see it does it does work. And then I'm just going to I'm just going to cut this off, and then I should have a nice little nice little belly band, a padded one. So that we can throw away. I'm not worried about that. So then I can like decorate this up. I'll pick some of this glue off, but it's all, um, so I could even, you know, I could make a nice little belly band in here. I could even cut this flap off. So I'm gonna hang on to this, use that down the road. So this is what we have now. Sorry if that kind of, was all over the place. So, because it has that raw edge to it, I still need to, what do you think? I think I still need to cut a little bit more of this off. Um, Debbie over at My Vagabond, she said to try to cut as much of this out of the inside. And I think maybe I will, and then I can fold. <laughs> I could fold the material over. Um, this is stitched here at the bottom. So let's just give this a try. Let's give this a try. I'm gonna use a smaller pair of scissors. And if I put this at an angle, This might be. See, I have a nice soft bat batten on there. See that? That's how I do these covers. So I'm just going to have to, let's see. So usually you go this way to fold. So I would have to, right? Am I doing this right? I'd have to come in like this. All right, maybe, maybe, sort of, kind of. I got to get this off a little bit more because that's, and this is just a file folder, so it shouldn't be that way. It shouldn't be too bad. The only thing that might be a little bit bulky is the corner there. And I'm wondering if I should take my X-Acto knife. What do you think? Um, if I take an X-Acto and I just take my time and maybe cut this out like this. Oh, look at that, and that slides right in. So I have plenty of room there. Maybe if I can get this part off, then I can work with that batting. In there, if I can get this here, I might have to just go all the way down. Let's see here. Let's see if this is going to be achievable. So I guess you just can't, you really can't be afraid. You just, even though I am afraid, I don't want to ruin this. Um, you just kind of have to get in there and work it, baby, work it. All right, 
Let's see here. So if you're new to my channel and you're hanging around, thank you. This is this isn't a typical video that I do. Um but I want to finish this journal and believe it or not, I have not worked on it because of this flap. Um I know that might sound silly, but it's been an obstacle for me. I just really haven't known what to do with it. Where most people would be like, All right, I'm just going to dig in and I'm going to do this and change this up. Um, all right, so with that gone, thank you, Debbie. Um, I'd like to be able to fold this in, but again, it's been stitched here. So I'm wondering, probably the best thing for me to do, I don't want this, I don't want to make this a raw edge. So, um, you know what I'm thinking, don't you? I should get, I don't know if I can do it with, I think I can do it with my X-Acto knife. Um, I should get a seam ripper. And take these stitches out, but I might be able to do it with my exacto. So let me, I'm going to step away. I'm going to get the stitching. There's little tiny stitching. I don't know if you can see it, but it's been stitched right here. I'm going to take that stitching out and then I'll be right back. All right, so I have, I took the stitching out and I am now able to, on this side, I wanted to try it first before I came back on. I'm able to roll this back and I can take some of this batting off here um, because I'm going to want to, I think, fold this in and I don't want that bulk. So I think this is still stitched right here. And that might have been glue. So I can I can get this cut. A little bit more off. So that's right more towards the seam there. Okay, so that's that's free now. I can flap and do whatever I want there. And then I'll do the same with this one. I can just roll that back. Take that off. And then, sorry, I'm whipping this around so fast, but oh, that's cut there. I just want to make sure I'm not. Can you imagine if I cut this and then I cut a big piece of fabric off? Cut that off. I'm gonna get my tools all over here and my trash out of the way. All right, so now I can work with this. So what I can do now is I can fold this in like a present. I can fold this in like this. I can fold this in. And then I can fold it over. And then what I'm going to do is I can I can sew this, but I'm not going to sew it because I have black thread in my, um, let's do it, let's see, I don't want it on the back, I want it on the front. So I'm going to want to fold this over first. I'll fold that, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my little my little bobby doobies. You know what a bobby doobie is? A bobby doobie is one of these. They're clips. 
when I can't think of what to call them, I make a name up. And right today, they're Bobby Doobies. Okay. And I'm just kind of going on this red line here, my fabric. And there's that. Okay, so now we're going to tuck this in. I always feel like my mother when I do something like this. She had the patience of a saint when, when it came to working with, I mean, for God's sake, she used to make my Barbie clothes. You had to have nimble fingers and sewing all those little outfits. Someday I will, I'll show you all the clothes my mother sewed for me. I don't know if anybody's interested. She made, she knitted two-piece bathing suits and square dancing dresses and, oh gosh, she didn't buy anything. She made it all. And I still have everything. God bless her. All right. That's okay. That little string. We'll tuck this in here. Kind of like making your bed. Getting those corners fixed just so. And I really should stitch this, shouldn't I? I can't be lazy just because I don't have white thread in my sewing machine. That's kind of a cop-out, isn't it? And then, see, we'll have that white line, or white line. We'll have that red line run, running right down the side here. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that'll work out good. And I'm going to go away. I'm going to step away, and I'm going to change my thread and my bobbin and I'm I'm going to stitch right down here that way I'll know it's secure so when that's done we'll be back and we will do the front cover all right so I have it all sewn and it wasn't too bad um, I think it looks much better down here isn't the greatest but I could I'm not worried about that um, I did a straight stitch down first and then I realized that this just didn't, I, I couldn't fold this over enough under the machine. So I just did, I started with a zigzag and then I just went back and did a zigzag all the way back down. But I think it's fine. I don't think I'm going to have any trouble or problems with it. So that is done. So now I just have my regular book here like this. Um... I was wondering if I should put, I'm going to do this next, but I'm wondering if I should put some sort of ribbon closure on this underneath and have it come around before I do anything else. Or maybe I don't really want to put a brad, not a brad, but I don't really want to put anything in there, but I feel like I should have something to hold this together when it's done um, to close it and I don't want to be putting a ribbon over the front of this so now I'm wondering if I should put I don't have any white sari silk I don't have any I do have um, I do have some I don't have enough of that seam binding I have white here. Um, all right, that's twill. That's twill tape. Don't want to use that. Um, let me see if I have some. Most of it's twill tape. I've seen binding, but it's cream. Now, I think I would have to use a white, I would think. Um, I'm just kind of, I got my head buried here in my box of ribbon and such. Um, I have green 
And is this white? Oh, here's white. I have white. So maybe that's what I want to go with. Um, and let's just play with this for a minute. I may have to press this, iron it out, because I don't want all of the crinkly wrinklies in it if I were to use this. And what I'm thinking is I could you do a double. Let me just get this off of here. If I come around Um, I could always, I'm just trying to think here, where maybe I could put, hmm, if I did a double strand, but then I would have to attach it to the back. Let's see here. It's always something, isn't there? You think that you've, you're have you done and you're going to be all set and ready to finish it off, and then you think of something else. I mean, it's not like these come with a pattern. So I could do a double... here like this and then this would go on here like that and I then I would be able to um, close it here afterwards um, but now I'm wondering then I could close it up and that would be kind of pretty and fun but now I have to think, do I just want to, because it's going to have to come around here like this. If I had been smart, I would have, I can always stitch, stitch it on here. And then the front side, I could glue down. So maybe I will do that because I can just stitch this where I've stitched the back here. Then I could just glue this down here underneath everything. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, I don't have to worry about the binding because the binding size isn't going to change. So I'm going to go and I'm going to press this out. I'm going to get it all ironed out and then I'll stitch the back of this here. And then I will come, we'll get this glued down, and then we then we will finish up. We'll put the front cover on, and we'll call it a day. All right, well, I think we can proceed. So I stitched this on, okay? I have that all stitched right there. I used the whole, uh, how much is in here? Three yards. I used the whole three yards because I doubled it up. I'm going to be folding this over like this, all right, um, and I think that's pretty, I think that's pretty even. I just want to make sure that it's come this way like this over and around, and I think that's good. I just want to make sure. I have to have everything straight and all good to go. That and then come here a little bit. So I think that's good. I think that will tie off good just like that. Okay, so this is where we're going to I'm gonna glue this down here. All right, that will go there. So we're going to glue this down like this. And then we can All right. Let's get this here. I 
I've had this turned upside down since I started working on this here. I think I'm going to put a little bit on the ribbon here. I don't trust myself putting it on the book per se. go right on top of that. So I think that I think that will be good to tie like that. Just want to make sure these are somewhat pretty much sorry I'm really in your face with this book aren't I with my camera. All right so we've got that there like that. And now we can put this on. I did stitch. You'll see I did a little top stitching around this. And I can get this on now. I'll put this on next. So I hope you're all... <laughs> I didn't even ask how you were. I have had to concentrate on this, but I hope you're all doing well. Um, and I've had a lot. I always ask what you're working on. I've had a lot of gals tell me, and everything sounds so great. Some people are working on Christmas cards. Some people are working on journals. I really wanted to make my girlfriend um, a Christmas gift this year, and it's just not going to happen. I am just, it's not the cards. It is not the cards this year, so I don't know what I'm going to do for her. We usually always make each other something, but like I said, I just, I wanted to make her that decoupaged um, box, and I'm just not going to have time. So I guess I can just work on that this summer, because I don't want to rush it, and I don't know. I'm not getting her any craft items because when I do I mean she's she makes to sell now and I don't want to just get her something and then you know supplies and then she uses them to make something and then they get so it gets sold so I don't know what to do the girl needs nothing maybe I'll just tell her we'll go out for a day we'll do a shopping day I'll take her to lunch maybe we'll go see a movie I don't know. I don't know. All right. So this here, we are going to... We're going to get this up here in this... Well, no, I, first I better get this on, hadn't I? Yes, 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 Barbie. So we are going to get that on there. And I think I might do a little distressing with this. I'm going to do it off because these little things, I don't want my brown to get on the paper. I don't know about you, but after a while, these little things start to flake and then they end up all over the place. Okay. All right. So we're going to use, hopefully this is working today. Yep. And I'm using, I'm putting the glue on this end because I think I've said this before, if I do it on here, sometimes you see the, the lines from that tip. 
that pointer. It makes lines on your paper. And I don't want any lines on here. Okay, so we have that down. Sorry about that. I had to step away. I, we were having our furnace serviced for winter, and the guy was all done. He was calling to let me know I had to go sign some paperwork. Okay, so we have that there. We are going to get this on here, but I want to make sure that I have it right around in the right spot. And I don't mind if this hangs down a little bit here like that. So we're going to put this like right about probably like that. All right, yeah, we'll do that. So when I get done with this, um, it's Black Friday. This is the day that I'm, this is Black Friday that I'm working on this. So I've got some ordering to do for the kids. They're some of the gifts that they want. And I definitely have to take advantage of the sales because they're a little bit larger items and I can save quite a bit of money on certain things I want. And then I go downstairs, my husband's like, you going to work out in the gym? I made the mistake of telling him I was going to, I was going to go in and get on the, I was going to try my treadmill today. And um, now that's all he keeps at, when you going to go into the gym, when you going in the gym. And I said, let me just get this stuff done and I'll go in the gym. But... I can't say things out loud like that <laughs> because then he keeps questioning, when are you going to do this? When are you going to do that? And I have to get in the gym because um, I won't be able to do anything for three months and I got to get, I do have to get in there and get moving. All right, so we got that there. I got that there. And it's funny, this is kind of a, it's not a, this is a true red. This is kind of an orangey red. So your eyes aren't playing tricks on you um, with this. It's a funky, it's a very funky color. Come on, you little beaconator. You little three-in-one beacon. And if you're smart there, you silly girl, we're going to do this off of the book. And I think I'm going to have to get my arm in the way once again. Hold these down. This felt is tough to... get this on, but crazy, isn't it? Look how this is just kind of, this is where I have to have patience because it's like, everything's a moving and a gyrating. I don't know what I would do if I didn't have these handy dandy little cricket tools. It's funny because it's just kind of like laying on top of this and it's just smushing. Oh God, this is worse than hot glue. Look at that. What a mess. 
Yikes, yikes, yikes. Let me get that right in there like that. All right. I'll try not to get these ribbons in there. All right, so I'm going to stand up a little bit. just like this and where's my mat again let's get this down and I may later on down the road have to add a little bit more glue I would like to think not but you never know. You saw how well it sticks when um, I took off the that back panel. So all right, so now we can add the buttons. Now I did try to put um thread in here. I didn't like it at all. So I'm just going to add the buttons. I'm not concerned with um, doing a thread or whatever. I tried um, some real pretty, like a ribbon, an embroidery ribbon, and then I tried embroidery floss, and then I tried something else off camera after I'd done some of my stitching, and I'm like, no, I just don't like it. I think it was competing with everything else, and I said, I'm just going to add the buttons. Buttons are buttons, right? Buttons or buttons. Okay. All right, so that is on there. Okay. And then the only thing we have left to add is the It's a Wonderful Life. And I'm going to use my art glitter glue for that. I don't need to use um, that nasty three in one. Too bad they didn't have a better top on it. So one thing I don't like, the design of that plastic top. And right there, we're going to put that right there. There. Everybody take a deep breath. It's done. Not the journal, but the cover. That is done. So now I'm really going to feel like working in this now and making my ephemera. And we have our little side. So we have, here's our front cover. Ta-da! There's our front. And then we open it up. And the back is all nice and neat now. And then we can I can tie it up. And I purposely left the, um, let's do it like this. I purposely left these strings, they're not strings, I purposely left the ribbon long because as it grows, um, I will have plenty to use to tie it up. So, well, Barbie, I guess I got to tie it tighter, right? Laying down, you silly goose. How to tie a junk journal, 101. 
don't do it the way I do it. That's your first. That's your first lesson. There, there, there. So there it is. Oh, I like that. So I really want to thank everybody um, for helping with your vote, deciding, helping me decide what to do with this. I really was. It really was a dilemma for me. And it's like I said, it sat on the shelf for uh, over a year. Um, I think I made this two years ago and it sat there and I just didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do with that flap and I spent all my energy thinking on the flap and um, I'm just so glad. Uh, Carol, you're, you said to cut it off. Deb said to cut it off. I think Pam at Tattered, Tattered Paper and Lay cut it off. So um, I want to thank everybody for all of your input. I couldn't have done this without you. So that is it. Um, I'm going to end this video because this all this section is done. And then we will continue to work inside the journal and have some fun with ephemera. So again, I want to thank everybody. Have a great day. If you liked this video, I'd love to have you um, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and I will see you in my next video. All right, everybody. Bye-bye.